Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the OpenSource Gangster here. So have you ever wanted to use your Android device as a mobile gamepad? Well you can, thanks to an app developed by x 4 member, Bluenex. It's really simple and easy to do, so let's check it out. Alright guys, so the first thing we need to do is download the server-side application to run on your PC. Now this is going to communicate with the app on your phone so that it knows what button to press in and to key map it correctly. So I'll provide a link in the description to the developer server-side app, but pretty much it, you can download it and extract it in a normal zip and install it like any other application. After you install it, let's open it up. So once you open up, it's going to listen onto a default IP address. Now for me, I have it set to 192.168.0.101. Over here in the settings, you can change it. By default, it's on .192.168.556.1. That did not work for me. So I changed it to .101 because I know that's uh, the IP address of my PC. And I kept the port number the same. Now over here in games, what we can do is we can add games. So, so far I had Titanfall and Planet Side 2. To add a game, just go up to here to the add game, type in the name, blah, and then you can search for the executable of the game. So in a case of Titanfall, I went to Origin Games, Titanfall, and then chose the executable right there. And then what's nice is that within the app, you can do a quick launch of the game, which is also really cool. Over here is your key mapping. Now, by default, I'm going to keep this the same. Uh, you can try to change this to whatever key mapping you want. Just know that not all key mapping works. I ran into an issue with the whole WSAD standard key mapping, so I kept it to up, down, left, right. And in gameplay, you'll see how that works. So once you have all of this set up to your liking, now you can go and download the mobile app. Alright guys. So now what we want to do is go to the Google Play Store and download the app Mobile Gamepad Beta. It's available free within Google Play Store. So after you download it, let's open it up. So it's going to ask for the server IP. So input the server IP address that the server application gave you. Okay, so make sure you enter the server IP address provided to you by the application along the port address. In this case, my port address being uh, 12,400. Once that's all good, hit connect. If all goes well, you just see this interface, which means that you are connected. So we have the D-pad controls over here and the standard uh, X uh, square circle triangle controls. Down here, we can quick launch the games that we listed in the server application. And in addition up here, we go to settings and we adjust the vibration and auto and uh, audio buttons using them. And over here is uh, we can map these two keys as far as escape and um, enter as well. So now let's actually try gameplay with this. Alright, so right now I am inside the game Titanfall. Now before we start using the gamepad controller, what you want to do is go into the, your key map settings in whatever game you're on. So once again, in this case being Titanfall, I'm going to go to key bindings. And then at the bottom for the WASD controls, which is normally uh, forward, back, left, and right, I want to make sure that I key map these controls to the up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. Just so uh, it will be compatible with this gamepad. I tried keeping it to WASD controls, however, it just doesn't work, and I found that changing it to the arrow keys does make it compatible with this app. So just a quick note that you do want to do. So now time for gameplay. So as you see, right now I am using the controller, and I am moving the character around. You can see we can jump, just lower this a little bit, and yeah, this is pretty cool. Like I said, this is actually working right off of the controller off of my phone so clearly you have a lot of limitations when it comes to using an app like this for example I don't have the full 360 rotation I get the mouse however there is a feature which I can use the sensor I'll turn both these on which I can use the uh, gyroscope sensor and actually turn my phone see if this works alright so if I go hold it backwards I start moving backwards and if I go forward tilt forward I start walking forward uh, a little hard to do the forward but backwards works pretty well Alright, so pretty much this is the app. This allows you to, like I said, use your phone as a gamepad controller. It's pretty neat. I highly suggest you check it out because it's really cool and easy to set up. And I imagine that this should work with most games. So a few final things that I want to point out is number one, while using this app, my battery drain has been crazy. It went down 7% within 18 minutes, I believe. In addition, on my computer, the actual app, the CPU usage the app was using was fairly high, 15%. Now, that was while I was 
actively connected and using it. Once I disconnected it, it went down. But nonetheless, that's probably some optimization which needs to be done. But it is still a great app and I highly encourage you to download it, check it out, thank the developer, and just have fun with it because it's a really cool thing to do. So as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.